the Glasgow-based law firm Inksters puts innovation very much at the heart of everything it does. What it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in entrepreneurial spirit, and this has helped establish it as one of the most progressive law firms in Scotland. Its founder is Brian Inkster. His motto for the company is to do things just that little bit different. It's easy just to sit uh, on your laurels and not do anything and just work away with the legal work day in day out and not think about the fact you're running a business. And so we're always striving um, to look at new ideas and improve the level of service that we can provide. Uh, and that's something that I you know, am constantly thinking about and looking at and seeking to develop uh, as best we can. It's a policy that's helped the company increase its profits by over 80% in the last two years. To understand the backbone to this success, we need to come here, to Shetland, Brian's birthplace. When Brian established his law firm, all his clients were Shetlanders. But even so, he made the strategic decision to open his office in Glasgow, creating a professional distance between solicitor and client. A Shetlander might perceive a greater degree of confidentiality, um, efficiency and prestige by using a city centre uh, law firm. Um, uh, we are in effect um, city lawyers with island knowledge. So we have a balance between understanding the clients, knowing where they are coming from, what they want to achieve, but maintaining at the same time an element of professional distance and academic caution so that we can give them a more objective viewpoint and in some cases the, the note of reality that they need to hear sometimes. Every now and again, Brian returns to Shetland to visit his clients. He's the seventh child of a Shetland fisherman, so he has an innate appreciation of life in a rural community that gives him an advantage over his competitors in various local matters. For example, it may be hard for an outsider to understand the legal complexities of crofting law, since it's not taught in law colleges and universities. His clients realise the benefit of appointing a solicitor with whom there is a geographical affinity. Brian speaks the same language as us. We, we uh, have a different point of view here in Shetland. Uh, uh, we, we sit on a lump of rock in the middle of the ocean and quite exposed to the elements. And uh, so having somebody who actually um, has the same frame of mind as, as you and uh, the same uh, outlook uh, is, is very important to, to, to us and uh, getting an understanding of the issues and problems. Inksters is now one of the first ports of call on most crofting matters in Shetland. And through recommendations and referrals, the company now handles similar cases all over Scotland. It's an expertise founded on local knowledge, but where the benefits are now reaped nationwide. To prove the point, Shetland cases now make up only 60% of Inkster's total legal work, the rest coming from across the mainland. This would never have happened had Brown established his business in Shetland. The company provides all the services you'd expect from a city law firm. And as it grows, being in Glasgow means Brown has access to a bigger pool of young lawyers. It's in his use of technology, however, that Inksters is set apart from the competition. In Scotland, law firms can also act as estate agents and are therefore members of the local solicitors' property centres. In the Glasgow area, all properties for sale appear on the GSPC website. But Inksters puts properties for sale on its own website as well, and in the case of Shetland, breaks the islands down into postcodes for more localised searches. This increases the likelihood of the company being given the customer's conveyancing work during the purchasing process and goes some way to explaining why Inkster's client base has grown by over 20% in the last two years. Many solicitor estate agents um, might not um, devote the time that they should to the estate agency side of the business and they might rely too heavily on the local solicitor's property centre rather than looking at ways that they can enhance the service to the client themselves. Uh, again, we're always striving to enhance that service and uh, have looked at innovative ways of doing so. Inksters uses modern technology to improve its customer service. It's the first estate agency to allow people to note their interest in a property online. And the first in Glasgow and Shetland to give people the opportunity to have information on properties near to where they're standing sent direct to their mobile phones, saving time for company and client.
Embracing change and innovation such as this may be difficult for law firms that have a rigid partnership structure, something Inksters is keen to avoid. There's not various strata of decision making, there's not any middle managers, there's no uh, endless amounts of admin to be able to get a decision. We can go straight to Brian, tell him something we're thinking about, he'll think about it, he'll come straight back. And that allows us to uh, move very rapidly to a changing situation very quickly. Brian Inkster is a solicitor with island roots and a big city mindset. Traditionally, the law and innovation are not natural bedfellows. But here is a company with the foresight and wherewithal, not simply to identify opportunities for innovation, but to act on them.